Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Angela. And Ryan. <gasps> From RA Music. We double dip. And we both got our shirts on. Your favorite mom and pop guitar shop and music lesson studio, deep in the heart of Texas. Where we're at, and it's time for episode, what is it? 382 of Ask RNA. Ooh. We're gonna answer y'all's questions again for the 382nd time. Yes. I'm so excited, let's go. Let's go. Welcome back. If you're new here, we're married. Yes. And we have a little guitar shop and mm -hmm. music store and yeah. a lesson studio where we keep the music alive mm -hmm. every week. Yes, we Teaching do. music to our local community. And we make YouTube videos on occasion. Mm -hmm. and this is one of those videos where we answer questions from viewers all over the world. Viewers like you. Amazing. Thank all you. over the world. It's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you're uh, not new here, then you know the deal. Know what's up. Uh, if you want some swaggity swag, there's a link in the description of this video. You can go down and get you an RNA Music t-shirt. Canton, Texas. People all over the world wearing them. You want, you want one too. Or if you also like our videos, we have some digital products. You can buy a PDF little mini booklet, about 11 pages of chord diagrams and scale diagrams and things that we use in our lessons with our students. Mm -hmm. We have made it available for you guys and girls. Yeah. If you want to get you some. And yeah. some of y'all have got you some. Thank you very much for Thank getting you. that. Appreciate that. And now Ooh. on to the questions. First question, mm -hmm. just fun guitar, who's in England. Yes, he is. Who has a lot of these looks beanie. Yes, he does. And probably has an RNA music shirt Hopefully in England. It's hashtag China Mac. Hashtag KTMA. We had some Texas barbecue this weekend. What, in England? <laughs> it was not very spectacular. Mm. And it's obviously not the real thing. Oh. That's why. It was very expensive, but then that is just how it is nowadays here. Uh, I have so many guitars, I just r rotate their maintenance based on what I have not used recently until next time. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, new question. One, when my Dunlop Ultra Glide 65 sponge is worn out, and I still got half a bottle left to use, what do you do? Mm. Two, how often do you let your pets eat your leftovers? Great question. I dug out my Ultra Glide 65 Dunlop. Look at that cute little bottle. I've had this for like 500 years. So when he's what he's talking about is, yeah, a little thing. It's got a little fuzzy yes, thing on top, and you run it along your strings to clean your strings. Mm -hmm. uh, I have never heard of somebody ruining or burning through the spongy mm -hmm. part before. So now, I don't ever use this personally. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's a very good question. Like if you've completely <laughs> burned up your sponge, well, what I would do is see if you can remove whatever's left of the sponge, drill it out, I don't know. Or you, so you can get to the liquid and you could just dip something in it, get a little cloth, yeah. pour a little bit of this stuff well, on the cloth. They usually have like um, four siren kind of like plumbers used to add like adhesive to pipes and stuff. You have the little ball on the wand. Mm -hmm. You'll probably get one of those. Oh, like a dauber. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that for my leather crafting stuff. Mm -hmm. For leather crafting supplies, I have this little, it's like a little cotton wad on a stick. Mm -hmm. You dip it in the dye to, to dye your leather. Yeah, you can use one of those. Mm -hmm. So cut that out and then just get your little, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, it's just like an applica application tool for adhesives or vinyl veneers or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sniff it. Well, I could smell it from that. I was like, is this on my hands? Now my hands are ultra smooth and conditioned. Yeah. Ow. What'd you do? I caught it on a zipper on my... Oh. All right, that's good. On my cargo pants. So there you go. Ooh. Uh, I've... I this is the first time I've ever heard of somebody doing that, Chris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, congr yeah. congratulations to you. What's on my face? You have wild hairs, and it looks like oh, where? It looks like something wrong with your very nice. Okay, <laughs> continue. All right, number two. Is how often do you let your pets eat your leftovers? Mm, I would say maybe what every, leftovers. <laughs> that's true. Every other meal. It depends on what the meal is. Sometimes it's just like no. You will not eat any of this because I'm eating all of it. And it's too good. You don't deserve it. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, sometimes 
Who tosses table scraps to the little biscuits more, me or you? You. What? You feed Hetfield ice all the time. Ice is one thing, and frozen strawberries. He loves frozen strawberries. Our little schnauzer. Yeah, and so does Pepper and Mesa, but they're not for the fet. They're not the fetching kind of dogs. They don't care for that. And they're old. Mm -hmm. Hetfield the schnauzer is young. He's not even he's, a year old. Yeah, he's, he's very all feisty. about that. You know, dropping things on the floor and getting it for him. But I dropped some eggs the other day for them, and um, well, it might have been today. Was it today? Probably. Anyways, so yeah. Yeah, yeah once usually on. like while we're cooking, while we're cooking, we might, or I might toss a little something mm -hmm. just to watch him fight over it. No, not really. It's, uh, I'll tell you what though, the Chihuahua, the old lady, she is sharp when it comes She's, to finding. She's real spry. When it comes mm -hmm. to finding, <laughs> I she threw does. a little piece of some on the ground yesterday for Mesa, like right in front of Mesa, the Maltese. And Mesa's like. She's like, huh? You gonna throw it? Like... I'm like, I already threw it. Pepper <laughs> was in her kennel across the room and she was like, you came out, <laughs> snatched still it, staring at Dad. and I'm like, that old, old, ultra grandma chihuahua came across the room and got that speck of meat. She can hear that <laughs> of, the, of the food. <laughs> she just saw my hands go. So. Yeah. So it's not, not all the time. We, they, don't, they don't eat human food very often. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty rare. And yeah. when it is, it's, it's very tiny little pieces of meat scraps. Or or scraps. Eggs. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Great question, just fine guitar. Thank you. Next question, Matt Haji. Hashtag China Mike, hashtag RNA. Nice show and thanks for the answer. Today my question is for you both. For both of us, good. Do you ever get used to seeing yourself when scrolling on YouTube? <laughs> thanks for the video. Yeah. Do you ever get used to it when you're just randomly scrolling YouTube and you see your face pop up on the screen? Do you? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I do when it's uh, when it's our page. I don't when it's other people's pages that I'm like have been a guest on their podcast or or stuff like that. And I scroll through and it's like recommendation and it's me in my interview. I'm like, huh? Oh, on yeah. someone else's channel. Oh yeah. <laughs> but when it's us, no, that yeah. doesn't surprise me. It doesn't like, oh my gosh, look at this. I think the first time we saw, we put it up on the big television because a lot of times we just look at it on our phone or on our ipad mm -hmm. but when we first put it on the television it was kind of like and that was years ago yeah it on was the big just screen kinda, it was kind of like oh on the 55 that was a little surreal surreal and whenever our students would come in and they were like i watch you on youtube you know and they just have this little you know light in their eyes that they are fans of us hi guys hi <laughs> uh when they say they watch us i like that that's pretty cool but yeah, not whenever it's just RNA's page scrolling through because I'm so used to seeing the yeah. tags. And yeah, stuff. I'm super used to it. And of course, like mm -hmm. I spend forever editing the videos. So she'll see this. She won't even see it once sometimes. Like yeah. she's like, I don't need to watch it, babe. I experienced it. I lived the Ask RNA episode yeah. 282. Mm -hmm. I don't have to watch that. Yeah. Or 197. <laughs> so she doesn't come back and watch them very much mm -hmm. after. Yeah, she'll sit if we do a live premiere. Yeah, I'll be on there talking She'll be to on the chat mm -hmm. in the premiere. So yeah, I guess you see it in the premiere. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't usually go back and watch any of the old videos necessarily. Mm -mm. I think I need to go back just oh. to go like to the first couple and see how we interact with oh, each other. Oh man. So I'm going to answer your questions. There's a lot of them and I'm going to try to go through them really fast so we can get them because I, I feel bad when there's like 30 questions if I only answer two. So right. I'm going to try to go fast, which is why Angela's here to help me stay. Stay on target. Okay. Stay on target. All right. Question number one comes from. It's that, kind there's, of a, that's there's time days surreal. like when we first started this, it was so boring to me. Oh. <laughs> then I was just be. I know that I caught myself just like staring off into the distance because I'm just sitting there thinking of all the things I need to get done during the day. <laughs> oh, in the early days, you did <laughs> yes. that. Yes. But not anymore. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no, I do, but I don't do it as often. <laughs> Like sometimes it would be just be like nonstop, just. Yeah, I was telling someone the other day, or today actually, I was telling Stacy at Kaiser Capos. I was like, man, I can't tell time anymore. I'll be like, yeah, it's like two years ago, and and Angela will say, babe, that was five years ago. I'm like, five years? That was like two years. Like I have no concept of time anymore. Yeah. Like after 2020, I think time just kind of skipped a little bit and yeah. we, it's been. <laughs> I'll, I'll see a video or something to pop up or a comment on a video pop up. I'm like, what was that? I'm like, oh, that was a video from like eight years ago. Dang. 
I guess we have been doing this a while. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of crazy. So. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what's funny is like a lot of times I'll have all these windows open on my computer and students are coming in and I'll have like a screen up like I'm uploading a video or typing something and invariably there's students like, you have a, you have a YouTube channel? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah huh, wow. And they're like, how many views do you have? I was like, oh, like 3.8 million. They're like, what? <laughs> 3 million? I'm like, oh yeah, it's not that big of a deal. And they're like, you know, a 12 year old is like, you have 3 million views on YouTube? And I'm like, yeah, it's taken me like 13 years. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Like, I have friends who get millions of views yeah. on a video, right? right? So like I know guys who get like 500,000 views on a right. video. So like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's across the entire channel. Like how many subscribers? Like I got like 9,000 subscribers. And like, wow, I have three. It's like, yeah, yeah, I had three once. My but mom I was like, and my brother. I was like, yeah. I was like, but 9,000 after 13 years is not like a really yeah. amazing, you know, I mean, yeah. it's amazing. It is for us because we we just live in this little town and it's just amazing that y'all still show up for us every single week and we just, I just think it's amazing. I yeah. think it's cool. I was, well, we'll, we'll kind of get to that, but I was at the Dallas Guitar Show, mm -hmm. like was it two, a couple weeks ago? Two mm -hmm. or three weeks ago now, I don't even know. I can't tell time. I know. But uh, at the Dallas Guitar Show, like each day that I went, I ran, I ran into people that I knew, of course, but mm -hmm. then there were people like, hey, I watch you on YouTube. And I'm like, oh, hey. Nice to meet you. They're like, yeah, or like, or they used to watch us or something. Mm -hmm. It's like, I watch your videos like all the time. We're like, oh wow, mm -hmm. thank you. That's nice. And they're like, oh, <laughs> so it was kind of weird it's talking to people I knew. And then each day there were a couple, like more than one. They were like, hey, what's your? I'm like, now granted, I'm in Dallas, which right. is not that far away from here, and like, right. You know, and it's a room full of guitar nerds. It's like literally, so obviously, a guitar convention. So the odds were pretty high. It's not right. like I was roaming around the. Uh, Lowe's. Yeah, we don't get it at like Home Depot. If we go around our town, you know, like first Monday, for instance. We mentioned that many times before, and like we don't have people come up to us and go, "Hey, are you Ryan and Angel from Marty Music?" Mm -mm. But if we're with people that think of it, like I've had friends, they're like, "You know, she's famous on YouTube." I'm like, "Stop! <laughs> don't say that! Don't say! Don't Please say don't that. say that! Not in Canton. Not. <laughs> I'm not famous in Canton. <laughs> we might be infamous. You might be infamous. <laughs> oh, people in Canton know us. Yes, oh, people in Canton know us because we're like the only biracial couple in the whole entire town. Yeah. Literally. Well, and I've grown up here, so everybody knows me. Right. So it's like, I'm kind of a big deal. But right. Whatever. It helps that we've been married for almost 25 years. We have. So. Yeah. <laughs> and we're rad. People like us. They just, they just right. love us. We've been around. So. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, thank you, Matt. Uh, yeah. It, it is. Sometimes it's weird, but not too much. All right. Yeah. Next question. Manly, 1979. What? Had to duck out of the live premiere for work. Great episode. Ryan, can we expect to see a new custom ZZ fur guitar soon? LOL. <laughs> I love jamming the blues based on ZZ top stuff, like waiting on the bus, mm -hmm. TV dinners, etc. So fun to play live. Yeah. Oh, I, when I was writing this question out, I thought it meant a ZZ gu fur guitar. Uh, no. Actually, there were some, at the Dallas Guitar Show, there was a guitar and a bass that were covered in fur. I remember that from I was like, video. hey. Uh, and then I was talking to someone today about building a guitar, like a ZZ top themed guitar for me. And I was like, what? He's like, you sure you don't want a fur thing? I'm like, no, I don't really want that. Mm -hmm. But if I could get like a, a Pearly Gates, like 1959, he's like, I could do that. I'm like, what? Okay. So I have talked to somebody yeah. about a ZZ Top mm -hmm. based guitar. Right. Since, you know, there's a chance I might be in a ZZ Top tribute band. We still have to have our first, we haven't had our first practice yet. We're going right. to practice in June. <laughs>
but no, I don't, I don't really want the fur guitar. Like I know some guys in a tribute band in Denver and I think they have some fur guitars. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's a little much. I was looking at the ones at the guitar show and I'm like, that seems like that would be awkward to play. Like, mm -hmm. doesn't that fur interfere with the strings? You know, it was, I don't know. <laughs> probably not. Probably not. You, you'll probably see some ZZ Top Ish. Ish inspired guitars, Tellies or Les Pauls, that kind of stuff. Quasi ZZ. Quasi top. <laughs> Quasi ZZ. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been learning a lot. Like I've been like for how many weeks? Like three weeks? Three weeks? I don't even know. Oh, Can't tell time. It's been about a month. Has it been a month? Yes. It probably has. I've been like listening to nothing but ZZ Top. Yes. Like nonstop. I mean. Never in his life. Yeah. Has he ever, ever? I've ever listened to more ZZ, ZZ Top, Top in the last three or four weeks than I have in my entire life, ever. I know. And it's just like, I'm just listening to it over and over. And it's, that's Unless what... we were watching Doug Dynasty. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get the intro. Oh, yeah. Was it? Oh, it was ZZ Sharp Top. Bit. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. I don't remember. was their remember. theme song. I didn't even know that. How'd you know that? Because I forgot. Oh. We watched it like every single Sunday. How many years ago? Oh yeah, like ten. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, it was last week <laughs> when you're doing research and learning, cramming for a gig, it's like you learn the songs, then you just listen to them over and over and over and over and over and over. So they seep into your subconscious. That's why I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just listening to them like over, just so they're like in there. So as I'm learning them, I'm kind of like, okay, yeah, I know what comes next. Right. Probably no fuzzy guitar though. All right, and with that, it's time for comment of the day song. Comment of the day. Comment of the day. Yeah. You make the comment, we read the comment. Comment, comment of the day. Of All right, the day. where we uh, we play a song right here, right here for you guys. We're gonna make it up on the. Yeah. Oh, that's our mm -hmm. mother Jane. <laughs> Kicked you mm -hmm. in the kneecap. You sure did. I'm so sorry. Yes. I'm gonna play some on guitar, Ed is gonna sing. You guys write the lyrics. We impromptu come up with the music. I have literally no clue what I'm gonna play. Okay. Give me a, give me, give me a, give me a key. Key of um, D. D, okay. <laughs> okay, key of D, here we go. I'm gonna make this up. Okay. Uh, I can't, can you see the guitar? You gotta yeah. see the guitar. You don't have to see the guitar. Okay. Try that again. You, no. you get, okay. No. Jay Baker, J.R. Baker, Junior Baker, <laughs> watching Angela's eyes glaze over every time there is a guitar question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, people are like, yeah, people are. Uh, yeah, is she bored? Fat. They're like, I know. There, there will be comments it's like, looks like Angela's getting tired. Mm -hmm. it's like you lost Angela on that question, Ryan. Yep. What? You're not obsessed with guitars? Like, yeah. When we talk about the dogs, <laughs> you know, I try. I try. Recipes. There's sometimes, and sometimes I'm actually, I'm really am listening, but that's my listening voice, and I'm thinking about the scenario, what you're talking about. I'm like, what would that look like? How would that be practical? Oh, your brain is racing. Yes, my brain is going 90 to nothing, and that's just what I look like when my brain is. Does, going. It, does, it, does it ever not go 90 to nothing? No. Even when I'm sleeping. Yeah, because you have bazillion dreams. Yep. I'm a dreamer. <laughs> Yeah. Mine's like, ooh. Yeah. What are you thinking? I'm like, mm, I'm, I'm not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're yeah. thinking about something, I'm like. Like, in a minute's time, I could probably segue 50 times into different things in a minute. 
I think that's just a lady brain. Women mm. brains. I think it's an ADD brain. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, ladies' brains work different than man's brains. Yeah. Uh, contrary to current people's thoughts, our brains are different. Yes, they are. Shocking how <laughs> that works. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Final question. Joe McCarthy? Hi. Hi, Joe. Joe. <laughs> it says, I see a couple of fenders on the wall behind you. Are you a fender dealer now? Question mark. Can never have enough guitar cord and scale diagrams. So mm -hmm. I bought some. I saw that. Thank you, Joe. You're a legend. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. I like Daddario and Music Nomad. Ryan, did you make it to the Dallas Guitar Show this year? Yeah. <laughs> Great question. Okay. A yeah. couple of questions. Are you a fender dealer now? Nope. <laughs> I just happened to uh, come across a big giant online retailer who was blowing out a bunch of Fender crap at below Fender dealer cost. Like mm -hmm. even if I was a Fender dealer, another store was selling the stuff below dealer cost, which not supposed to be able to do that, but there are all kinds of ways these big, 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 big stores mm -hmm. screw around and, minute and kind of avoid the map guidelines and sort of just screw other dealers yeah and so i was actually speaking to a friend of mine who is a fender dealer about mm. procuring some affordable these are squires that are like 250 bucks you know budget friendly guitars and even he was like bro i just bought from these guys like he bought some from them because mm -hmm. <laughs> he could buy them from them and sell them as like demo models are used and still make a profit cheaper than buying fenders directly from fenders so I am not a Fender dealer. I just bought like seven or eight Fenders from another store yeah. below dealer costs. Like a couple of years ago. No, it was like, it wasn't a couple of years ago. It's literally in the last several months. Really? Yeah. Let me get you the invoice. It just feels like it's been a long time. It's been a while. <laughs> it has, yeah, it hasn't been that long. I just paid them off. Oh, nice. That's <laughs> the financing thing I just paid off. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> Yay, so I own Yay. those. These three are mine. Um, yeah, so it was kind of like one of those deals, like it was too good to pass up. I'm like, I can buy those and sell them. They're, they are legit brand new. I mean, they're not used. Yeah. I'm like, hmm, I've done that before. There was like uh, Sweetwater used to do string deals mm -hmm. and they were selling D'Addario strings basically for what my cost for them was. And I'd be like, well, free shipping from Sweetwater, not free shipping from D'Addario unless you order like 300, you know, 400 bucks worth of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was like, crap, I'll just buy them from Sweetwater and then sell them at the regular price, you know, and I got free shipping. So it actually was kind of a wash and I got them faster. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Pfft. now they don't do that anymore. <laughs> D'Addario has started enforcing map policies and map pricing all of their products. So. That doesn't happen anymore, but I, I do keep an eye out for if I come across deals, no matter whether they're from the manufacturer or not, if I can find something that's a good price that we can actually make a profit margin on. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of how it. that works. Yeah, and that's why that's why I got I got these uh, Squires in, was like, eh, it was kind of a deal of sort of too good to be true. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just like, ah, that company was just liquidating them. Probably not making any money, they were just getting out of them freeing up their inventory to get more stuff. There was some talk at the guitar show about Fender this last year or two. Fender's finally kind of caught up their production and a lot of their dealers had like, you know, stuff on order, but it's trickling in. And all of a sudden they're like, hey, yeah. you gotta take all of this stuff. And they're like, what? So Fender really, word on the street is, Fender really kind of stuck it to a bunch of their dealers. Mm -hmm. They were like, hey, you gotta take all these now. We're like, oh, I don't really need all of it now. But like, well, here you gotta take it. And we need to order some more stuff. I didn't hear that from Fender. I'm just telling you what people have told me. So anyways, that's probably why this big store was like <laughs> dumping a bunch of them to make room for more stuff or to do, who knows what. Yeah. All right, and did I make it to the Dallas Guitar Show? Yes, I did. There was a comment on my last video like, hey, when's the Guitar Show video coming out? I'm like, I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. So I did do a Saturday and Sunday vlog the Dallas Guitar Show. It's about an hour. It's an hour long video so far because it's two days of content. Mm -hmm. It's 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 pretty close to being done. So I did go to the show. It was great. <clears throat> Probably this weekend. 
you know, probably in the next couple of days or by this weekend, I'll get that video out. It's an hour long. So, you know, there you go. But you, you, it'll be like you're walking around the guitar show, like literally walking around the guitar show. <laughs> So stay tuned for that. Yeah. It's coming soon, I promise. And that was the final question. Awesome. From Joe. He's number one. All right, if you watch this entire video from beginning to end, you're really gonna have to watch the guitar show video because it's really long. But if you watch this entire video from beginning to end, secret hashtag of the daytime, put this hashtag down below with your comments and or your question, and we will know that you are an epic legendary person and you watched the whole video. Hashtag. Fur guitar. Fur guitar. Hashtag fur guitar. Fur and guitar. We'll, <laughs> we'll know you watch this whole video. And everybody guitar. else. Yeah. Everybody else who's cool will know you watch the whole video too. So yeah. fur guitar. Don't forget your swaggy swag if you want it. Or go buy our little PDF booklet of chord diagrams, scale diagrams, stuff like that. And yeah. ask a question for next I would say next week, but we've been running like every other week on the Ask RNAs. Yep. So I don't know if that's a trend that will continue or we'll get back on track or what. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. So ask a question for next time and we'll answer it then. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. And you need the music. And we need to keep it alive for the next generation. That's right. A fur guitar players. <laughs> Is PETA like not a fan of that? Are you getting in trouble? I, I don't think they'll mess with the top. <laughs> they probably should. Probably no. should. Bye. 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 Bye, bye, bye. I didn't even drink my Dr. Pepper. Bye, bye. Bye. bye.